Hi everyone, how are you? I'm really well. Okay, now, um, I just want to remind you that the mini catalogue will be out in uh, the 4th of January. The celebration uh, extravaganza, lots of free things with qualifying purchases. Um, that starts also on the 4th of January. I can't show you inside yet. I'm sorry, I know. I know. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to use one of the beautiful free papers from today, uh, from the celebration. But first, uh, I've been very remiss of acknowledging some gorgeous, gorgeous cards that I've received in the last couple of weeks. Um, I just want to acknowledge the, the, the beautiful people that have sent them to me. Um, this one is from, and I won't show you her address, uh, Cheryl Hurst. Thank you very much. She is also on my team, um, my wider team. And um, isn't that gorgeous? That's using that holographic paper. Isn't that lovely? And she would have stamped that with stays on to get that. And look at that, 3D, 3D. Isn't that beautiful? This one here is from one of my um, team members slash customers, um, the beautiful Gwenda. And there's a lot of things going on here. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is actually raised. It's it's plaited and bent back on itself. Isn't that gorgeous? And thank you so much, Gwenda. That was lovely. This one is from another of my customers, Christine. And um, what a beautiful card. I think they call this uh, the focus or shutter card. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that beautiful paper. Oh, just beautiful. Thank you. Oh, she stamped it on the back. Thank you, Christine. That is gorgeous. Um, I won't show you the note inside, but that is beautiful. And this is from one of my um, customers. Uh, she comes to my card making classes. Check that out. That is paper. What do they call that? What do they call that? You know, when you coil the paper up, it's very 3D. It's just beautiful. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. I have never tried this. How gorgeous is that? Anyway, this is from Jeanette. Thank you, Jeanette. Um, what a beautiful card. What a beautiful Christmas card. They're all beautiful and I appreciate all of them. Thank you so much, everybody, for sending me those. Now, that was long overdue, long overdue. And um, yeah, I apologize for not mentioning all of that earlier. Now, you might be able to see here I have the glass mat fully exposed. It also comes with this cleaning cloth, which I have not opened yet, but it comes with this fantastic little thing and it sticks. It sticks to the mat. Now you can put whatever you like on it. Look how handy that's going to be. You can mix up your ink on there. You can put your little um, spots in there. You can put your larger ink pad on there and it won't slide around. I've just got my uh, chamois on there at the moment. Keep it handy. Um, but that all comes in one set and that is an offer, a joining offer that will be coming. This is a sneak peek. This is tempered glass. Um, I'm sorry if there's glare on there, but it is what it is. When I'm filming, I need lights. So, um, but once I start working, you won't even see that. Okay, so now the papers that I'm using are one of the celebration papers. And it's called, oh, let me get it out of there because you don't need any more glare than we already have. It's called uh, Softly Stippled. Now, as per, these are 12 by 12, and they're double-sided. They're absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm just going to quickly go through the designs here. Look at that. Calypso Coral. Wild Wheat. Um, Pebbled Path. And the beautiful, I think it's Lost Lagoon. Lost Lagoon. 
Lost Lagoon, uh, Calypso Coral, Pebbled Path, Pool Party and Wild Wheat. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'll show you the B side, what I call the B side, which really could be another A side. I'll just turn them all over and we'll start again. Look at that one. Look at that beautiful one. So this is the other side. Now these are these, this side is great for backgrounds, um, accents. Look, beautiful Calypso coral. Look at that. It's got like a linen texture printed on it. Absolutely beautiful. That is the pool party. Um, here's another one that looks like a, a fabric. Oh, that would make a lovely background for a blokey card. Pebbled path. Um wild wheat this is the calypso coral again anyway i'm going to make a card using those this free paper now when celebration starts you once you purchase a minimum of 90 dollars, and it can be from either the new catalog the new mini catalog or it can be from the annual catalog there's no uh restriction on where you purchase your items but once you hit $90 you can then um, claim a $90 reward there are two rewards that you can claim you can claim two if you spend 180 you can you can claim two $90 rewards or you can claim one 180 reward but I'm going to get into that when it happens okay don't don't be worrying about it now now this card is kind of still in my head so i apologize because there's a lot of things in my head um but i'm going to be using um this is one of the celebration free stamp sets that you can choose um so it's a 90 90 dollar is this a 90 dollar one i can't remember um but i'm just using this sentiment here you're in my thoughts now that covers a whole multitude of, of card occasions so and we're going to be using the gorgeous deckled circle dies now you get 14 14 uh deckled circles and the, that big one is like you could make a card out of that one i'm telling you might do that one day but anyway i have uh some other things here i've got my stamp here I've got a card base uh, that is A4 cut in half at 10.5 uh, and it's scored at 14.85 and so that is a tent fold card. So that is designed to stand up like that and I'm just giving that a bit of a good crease with my bone folder so it sits nice and flat. So if you want anything, you need to contact me either my, uh, in my email address. I've got social media happening, Facebook, Instagram, all of that jazz. Um, the December host code is this one here. And my online store is there. So if you're interested in purchasing anything, you can go there and see all this stuff, except the new catalog and the new celebration, because that is not out yet. Okay, so now I've got a few things here. So I have my uh, card base, and this is in the Pebbled Path. I have a piece of Calypso Coral that is 14.3 by 10. I have a piece of this beautiful stippled um, designer series paper. The back of it is Calypso Coral. I have a scrap that was cut from there. And you can see that is actually from there. We're going to be using that on the inside of the card. We've got a piece of white for the inside of the card. Now, I cut out two of the decored circles. I've sticky taped them together. I want you to see that. And I've made a frame. Albeit a wonky deckled edged frame. But that's all I want but I now have this. I can use this as a card front with an aperture. I've also got a piece that I can use for, for, a diff, for another project. So that's what we did with those. 
Okay, now I'm also going to be using some punches. What have I done with them? She says. Oh, they're right here. Um, I'm going to be using the heartfelt hexagon punch and a two inch, two inch circle punch. So I can pop the deckled circles away because I've done that now. Okay. If I don't do that, that's how I lose them. Oh, and if I knock everything over, that's, <laughs> that's, a, anyway, that's something else. Okay, so I've got this circle and that's going to go on the front here, but I'm going to do a, a bit of spotlighting. So um, I've got some uh, blends here. I've got the Calypso Coral Light and Dark. I've got the Old Olive Light. Um, we'll just see how we go with what colours we use. And I'm going to glue the frame on here now before I do it so that I know where I want to colour that. So I'm going to use some liquid glue. You don't need a lot. And I'm just putting some just all the way around and we're going to center that up and put that on the card front now I want that up towards the top third as you can see I'm just getting that lined up there we go the only besides the glare of the light Everything I bang on this board <laughs> makes a noise, so I apologise for that. Okay, so now we've got our little um, faux frame here. And I'm just going to colour whatever's inside this circle. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Calypso Coral Dark. I'm going to just do a little bit of dark where there is dark and this is so forgiving this coloring technique um, as you'll see in about two minutes I'm, I'm not even trying not even trying so there we go now with the calypso coral light i'm just going to come in and just color all the petals in And this just blends the darker colour. As soon as it touches it, it blends that darker colour in. Now, I, I didn't have to think about where I wanted to put that darker colour because the artists have already done that. Um, there is shading, and I could have left it just at shading, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is uh, to colour with the blends now I can't apparently color and talk at the same time so if there are <laughs> long bits of silence you'll know you'll know that my brain is concentrating on the coloring process A celebration is a really great time um, you know stock up stock up on things that you want and things that you need and then you will get your rewards uh, when it comes to the um, total of over $90 and there are some beautiful beautiful free items to be had now, I'm just trying to colour this fairly quickly without taking up too much time. Now, if you're not really, if, if watching somebody else colour is not your uh, cup of tea, just fast forward till you get to the other interesting bits. Yep, we're in that week leading up to Christmas. Um, 
I'm kind of, I've kind of got still a few little things to get here and there. Obviously, the fresh food is still yet to come, but I'm pretty sure, I'm sure I've forgotten something, but I'm pretty sure I've got most of it done. So now I'm going to use the small point. That was the brush end. So now I'm going to use the small point because there are some little bits here that are quite tricky that need that finer point. But whatever you're comfortable with. Looks like I've missed a bit here. And that's okay. It's definitely okay. So what we're creating is we're creating this spotlight, this focal point on these small uh, images here. That they are part of a bigger image, but we're actually focusing on that. Now I'm going to use the um, light old olive and I'm just using the leaves. Now you see the shading is actually built in on these um, on these papers. So I didn't really have to do both colours of the Calypso Coral, but I just wanted to show you that you could if you wanted to. So. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to know what, what's there. I think that's a flower, but we'll do that in a minute. So see, you can still see through the colour, you can see the shading, you can see the veins that are in there. And um, yeah, if you want something that looks really, really impressive, but you don't want to spend a lot of time on it, this is pretty, this is pretty good. Now, of course, I could have just left it plain, but what's the point of um, spotlighting it? if it's not going to be different. Okay. Right. Nearly there, guys. And it, they do dry a little bit paler. Um, and you can leave highlights on the leaves if you wish. Um, and indeed on the petals as well. But yeah, these are true artists that design these papers for us. So if you're like me and you're not that great at drawing, but you can colour in... You can make these gorgeous, gorgeous coloured images very, very easily. So now I'm going to go back and sometimes it's a bit easier to see them after, after you've coloured something in next to it. And there we go. I'm pretty sure I'm finished now. So now I wanted to um, put my message on. Now one of these is for the inside of the card. Which one is it? Right, it's that one. Now I want to stamp this in um, the pebbled path, which is softer than black. It's a softer colour. Uh, than black so I'm going to stamp this here now if this doesn't work turn it over turn it around you've got plenty of options and I think I should have had something underneath it I'll just use my silicon mat here Sometimes you've got something hard, especially with the photopolymer. Um, 
you need something that's going to cushion that. So let's try that again. Although it is pretty warm here. And I have got the fans on, so let's have a look. Oh, what do you think about that? Now, I was going to stamp that using the two inch circle punch and it just fits so I'm punching that out out of my um, Calypso Coral before I do anything else I'm going to cut out my heartfelt hexagon That's our punching done. Now we can start to put this together. Now I just wanted that to be uh, just a little frame for that. And I'm going to also go around the edge of this circle with a blend. So I've got the small, the small tip and I'm just basically running that around the edge now it's not going to be straight and that's okay because it's going to um, tie in with the deckled circles so what I'm doing is I'm actually running the nib of this along the edge of the circle on my scrap paper and I'm going to get this uneven, I'll show you in a tick. I'm going to get this uneven border, but it mimics the shape of the deckled circles. So that's okay. That's going to tie that in. So now we're nearly there. We're nearly there. That's for the inside of the card. Um, so I'm going to start assembling this. Now, as I said, this is kind of still in my head. So that's going to go on there like that. It's going to go on there like that. You're just going to get a little peek of that Calypso Coral. I want, what did I do with the other things? Oh, the other thing I did pre, pre to filming was our white baker's twine. I've just run the Calypso Coral um, blend over the top of that. I found these really old, old um, rhinestone gems. They're so old. Um, petal pink. I, I haven't used them. So what I decided to do was I didn't have any Calypso Coral. So I've got my dark Calypso Coral blend and I'm just colouring it. Look at that. Now I've got Calypso Coral. Now I've got Calypso Coral um, gems that I can add to this card. Now... I hope that you can see the colour on that. You can do that with the clear ones as well. So, now, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I get easily sidetracked. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to sort of have all this on here somehow. And I quite like this sort of bow thing yeah so I'm just gonna snip that off where's my snips here they are and this is the um, pebbled path textured textured ribbon and it does have a texture to it now this is available in the um, annual catalog and these all of the new um, 2024 the new um, in colours, Pebbled Path, the um, Wild Wheat, all of those, you can buy those all separately. So that is my, uh, my Pebbled Path one. Um, I'm going to cut this off just at the angle. So I'm just going to cut one there, one there. And what I what sometimes I like to do is to make a bow out of my baker's twine. Now remember, this is coloured with my dark Calypso coral. 
So let's just see how we're going to do this. I'm going to attach this to this first so that I've got it ready to go. So just a bit of glue on the back. And just make sure that's even. And it looks okay. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gather the top of this. Make sure these are uneven at the bottom. I'm going to gather this at the top and I'm going to tie a little bow here. Now, this is where you need like three hands, okay? So I'm going to use my um, reversible tweezers here. See that? I can just pop that down now. And I've got two hands free to tie my bow. Don't know who invented those, but they need a bit of a metal. So there we go. Now, tying that little bow. Now I can adjust this. I can fiddle with this and adjust it to be a bit smaller. And I've, I'm sure I've got more than I need. But at the end of the day, I've got this pretty little, pretty little bow. And as I said, you can muck around with bows forever. Now I'm going to start putting this together. Now we've got our piece of Calypso Coral with the big hole in it. That's going straight on the front of the card. Two colours that I probably would not have thought to pair up, but they were there in the paper pack. So, professionals have put those colours together. Who am I to say no? <laughs> I'm actually going to glue this on top as well. So we've got that little bit of Calypso Coral poking out um, behind the designer series paper. So a little bit of this. We've got our little faux frame there. Now gorgeous colouring that really didn't take all that long. There we go. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Now I am going to pop this up on uh, some dimensionals but I just want to make sure I'm positioning this where I want it and I'm going to actually put some glue dots down for this I think glue dots or what will I use so many choices I think I'll use my um, stamp and seal that way I can make sure that I've got good, um, good adherence for that. So I'm going to lay that down there like that. Just like that. This is going to be popped up on dimensionals. So we'll do that. Did I do that right? I did. I did do it right. One in the middle. And just pop these off. Yeah, these cooperated so well in the last video. Now they're paying me back <laughs> big time. <laughs> And there we go. We've got our beautiful sentiment there. Straight out of my head, guys. Now, I want to put some gorgeous gems on. So, I don't know which ones to use. These are so unusual. I might 
I might use the diamond shaped ones, which means that I've got to paint a couple more with the um, dark Calypso coral. I think three is probably ample. So let's put those around. Give that a minute to dry. So we'll put, we might put one there like that. One up here somewhere. <sighs> the struggle is real. The struggle is real. One there, I'm not going to think about it. When I think about it, it's just too, too sad. What about one down here? <gasps> there we go. <laughs> so now on the inside of the card, um, I haven't chosen um, a sentiment. But because it's Pebble Path, um, just because it's Pebble Path, what about if we just make it this one? Thank you for making me smile. We'll just use that one. We'll do that in the Pebble Path as well. Um, this is from a new, that new set, Notes of Nature. Ink this up. Pop that in there like that. Just give that a second. Oops. That's terrible. <laughs> Turn it over. Start again. Oh my goodness. Right. Yeah. Warts and all here, guys. Warts and all. Now, let's look at this again. Okay. There you go. That's what happens when you try to hurry. So I'm just holding that down, giving that a second. Hope. Oh, my gosh, that's even crookeder. You know what? Doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to pop this down here. I can use my stamp and seal to make this even quicker. And there's a beautiful card. Now there's a bit, little bit of a border on the bottom, but it's the same width, so it's just like a little border. And that's going straight into my card. Now all you have to do is write crooked. <laughs> just write a little bit crooked and it'll look like it's meant to be so yeah guys let me know what you think about that these beautiful beautiful papers here's a little card um, using those beautiful colors uh, beautiful papers in colors that I would not have um, necessarily naturally thought to put together but I um, might just snip that off a bit. That one's a bit long. Snip that one off a bit too. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, our gorgeous, um, what's it called? Softly stippled, softly stippled. Um, and in case you're not sure, stippled means this sort of like dotted um, design. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful papers. They'll, they're yours for free with your qualifying um, purchase. But do please let me know what you think about this card. Um, you can use any gems you like, any punches you like, any colour range you like. Um, but yeah, this is just one I just had in my head, had to, had to get it out. The other day we made a recessed frame and i'm still stuck on frames so there you go um but let me know what you think and thank you so much for spending a bit of time with me um if you have any questions email me here oops email me here put it down in the comments and um i'll see you probably christmas eve at this rate 
Anyway, thank you so much for your time. Bye for now.